Hi, my name's Mark. I'm Senior Staff Writer at Photoshop Creative, and today I'll be showing you how to create brushes on one of these. Now, in our latest issue, issue 130, we showed you how to create a paint splatter portrait, such as this one. Now, we created our own brushes for this, and everybody knows that you can create brushes in Photoshop, but little did you know, you can create brushes with an iPad, and that's what we're going to show you how to do today. Okay, now if you're a CC member, all you have to do is download the Adobe Brush app, free from the App Store, and as you can see, you're gonna need to access the the camera on your iPad. Okay, now this is the, the main slider in the app. As you can see, it alters opacity of white. The icon at the top here means full white. And then if you slide down, you can choose exactly how much white you'd like in the brush still, which is perfect for creating Photoshop brushes, of course. And once you're happy, simply take and your camera will capture the brush for you. Then all you have to do is crop accordingly. You can move the brush because of course you've isolated it from the white. Click OK. And there we have it. Now all we need to do is import it into Photoshop. Now there are various options that you can use for the style of brush. You can create a nice sketch brush. That does look good, but we're just going to go for the classic Photoshop brush. Of course, these aren't the final styles that you have to use in your projects. So you can alter the opacity, the size and the color once you're in desktop Photoshop. But we're just looking at the, the basic shapes that this brush can create so far. Once you're happy, click OK. We're just going to name this one Splatter. Return, save, and now this is saved to our library. Now we can access this on Photoshop via the panel on the right hand side, and we can use this in our projects. And there you have it, simple tip on how to create a Photoshop brush with an iPad. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe, check us out on Twitter at PShop Creative, and thanks for watching.